from the perspective of the U.S. government, our economic development and foreign assistance goals won't be achieved without innovation. Our diplomatic efforts will fall short and our national security will be increasingly threatened unless we view global partnerships as critical to our mission. That is why Secretary Clinton appointed me to work at the highest level of the State Department as her special representative for global partnerships, leading the administration's efforts for global partnerships in the three Ds of development, diplomacy, and defense. With this new office, we're taking a new approach, a fresh start, and a new way of dealing with each other across the lines that, we often, that often have divided us. Aaron's called this creating a reset world where after realizing how many mistakes we've made in the past, we, we, we begin to work together towards a more sustainable future. BSR's members have done so much over the last 17 years, but we need more from all of you. The times are more dire, the stakes could not be higher. The questions we must answer are serious and challenging. In this time of economic recovery, how can we go beyond the surface level fixes? How can we restore a real sense of business ethics? And how can we harness the innovation, efficiency, and expertise of the business community to address the challenges ahead? How can we rework our risk calculations to account for the social and ecological costs that we haven't taken into account when calculating risks? And how do we go about adjusting our business practices accordingly? In a reset world, even the most responsible businesses in this room must go further by extending CSR to be truly transformational. It should impact every aspect of your supply chain, every professional development program you create, every decision you make in the boardroom, every employee in your operation, and every stakeholder across the planet, all while taking into account and taking care of the planet that's, that sustains economies and all of us in the first place. When we begin to reflect on a reset world, we realize that despite the progress we have made, we all have so far to go before sustainable, responsible business practices are integral in everything we do but we can do no less if we are going to be honest about what we need to do moving forward. And this brings me to my third and final point, which is why I'm here today. The challenge from the Obama administration is this. Hit reset on the way you see government and even the way you see your own business practices. Reclaim the future as it could be and should be rather than accepting the path we're now on because of short-term thinking and misguided decision-making. And let's be real about what we are up against, and let's act on that by responding in a coordinated fashion through new multi-sector partnerships. On April 22nd, when Secretary Clinton announced the launch of the Global Partnership Initiative, she stated that the doors to the State Department are wide open and that it's absolutely essential that we recognize our interconnectedness as we grapple with the difficult challenges sweeping the planet. The problems we face today will not be solved by governments alone. It will be in partnerships, partnerships with philanthropy, with global business, with civil society. And as you see from the Partnering with the U.S. Government Guidebook, we're taking on, we're taking an integrated whole of government approach with the State Department, USAID, PEPFAR, OPIC, and others to encourage more effective and, and efficient development. Diplomacy and defense will be part of our overall alliance, and we ask you to join us in this effort. Here are our priorities, the priorities of this administration. We will be creating secure and healthy societies which includes efforts in food security and water development, Muslim outreach, energy security and climate change, nuclear nonproliferation, and global health. We will be working on economic growth and empowerment, including efforts in global economic recovery and growth, democracy, human rights, and especially the rights of women, and diaspora engagement. And we will be addressing immediate crises as they emerge through rapid response capabilities and responding to other priorities from the Secretary of State as they arise. 
In all of these areas, we want to work with you. We are creating real change in how government should not only work with other governments, but also philanthropies, NGOs, citizens, and businesses. And we are poised to build new partnerships by convening, catalyzing, and collaborating on your behalf to address issues that concern American business interests, that affect our foreign policy and national security interests, and that can enhance global sustainability and security. On April 22nd, Secretary Clinton launched the Global Partnership Initiative, and then on September 22nd, at the Clinton Global Initiative, President Obama called for a new era of global partnerships so that working with groups like yours, through the spirit of partnerships and innovation, would come to define this administration. In closing, I ask you to reflect on what it means to hit reset. Consider what it means to reclaim responsibility in our shared interconnected world. And then tomorrow when you wake up, it will be October 22nd, in a reset world where we begin to reorganize our efforts through a new spirit of partnership. Our doors are wide open and I'm eager to welcome you as we work together for increased impact and a better, smarter, and more responsible future for all.